into a special match. In the upper right-hand corner, we have Mars starting as the Red Terran. Mars, we've seen in BSL, seen him around the ladder. Check him out on Twitch TV, backslash Mars. That's, uh, I believe, M-A-A-R-S. Up-and-coming Terran, definitely in the A borderline S range. And in the bottom left-hand corner, we have Artosis. And I hope that everybody knows. He even has a probe that's not mining right there. I hope everybody knows who Artosis is. He is starting as the blue Protoss. Now, really, the question of this match, and he's going for cheese right off the bat, because when he plays Protoss, he plays Protoss as he views Protoss players. So here's the question. A lot of questions. Is Protoss OP? Is question one. And I think that's the, the argument that Artosis would like to make just right off the bat. Yes, Protoss is, in fact, just straight up OP. How do you, how do you even beat them as Terran? It's not even that Terran, that, that Mars is a bad player. In fact, I believe in speaking in this match, as he was playing this, you can go look at the VOD on his uh, channel in Twitch TV. He was like, Mars is a great player, is one of the things he was mentioning. It's just Protoss is OP was his feeling in this matchup. So that's, that's question one. Is Protoss OP? The second question is, is, is Protoss not OP, but is Artosis just incredible PVT? Because he, he expends a large amount of effort and thought in this particular matchup. I mean, he's got an emote, an animated emote of a Dragoon exploding, right? Which tells you how he feels about Protoss players. Very strong TVZ. But this is the, the, the TVP matchup is the one that creates the most frustration for him, right? It's the Arbiter recalls. Gets the gas steal, which is really going to make this all the better. It looks like Mars has, in fact, scouted this proxy gateway. So he's already got an SCV down there, moving the additional SCVs down to take care of this. Probe trying to pull off. So it looks like, at least as far as the initial attack, Mars has repelled this. He's going to be able to get that barracks up. He's going to be able to get this SCV out. And this is a big early game loss for Artos. This is not even, and he didn't build the Zealot immediately. So he's even going to lose the Zealot that's in production here. So loses all that. He's just going to leave that gateway. You can take it out, or that gateway, that pylon. You can go ahead and take that out in a minute. He's moving back. It actually pulled probes, oddly enough. So additional mining time lost here for Artosis. So it's scouted. So this is a... So at least as far as things are starting off here, Assimilator is certainly going to get taken out. You had a gateway that ta uh, taken out. You have a pylon that's being taken out. So a bit of a slowdown for Mars overall as far as getting tech out, but he can basically just go ahead and take his natural expansion and play from here. But the thing is, is this isn't just any Protoss. This is Artosis Protoss. And I love what Mars did with this. He actually moved the SCV scout down to the natural. He sees the probe waiting to go ahead and plop that Nexus down and blocks it. Gets that engineering bay down before proceeding to go with that scout. Great play from Mars. And I believe, I'm not sure if that timing was purely intentional, but I do like that he's at least continuing with the scout to try to see what he's up against. I'm going to continue with that harassment. Two Marines working on that assimilator. Third Marine being produced, and he's waiting to go ahead and take a command center of his own. And he can just do it in the face of Artosis. Anyway, game's not over yet, though. Simulator gateway plopping down. So now the question is, is and here's the thing. I, I want to say also on paper that as far as flat players... Like, just TVT. I do believe that Artosis is the better player overall. Artosis is borderline... He's in S rank and sometimes gets dropped to A, but he's basically S rank in Korea, in the Korean time zone, in that space, which is huge. He's grabbing a sneaky nexus here at the 9 o'clock location to get around this engineering bay block. And moving out with this probe to either get a scout or potentially do more shenanigans. He really doesn't need the scout because he... He sees what's happening here. He sees that command center being built. Finally, this refinery being grabbed from Mars. And it looks like he is sneaking up into this 1 o'clock base to be a sneaky snake, as all Protoss are. Maybe there's a... there's. I wonder if there is a macro Protoss somewhere out in the world, actually. Like, just a flat macro Protoss. Where all they do is macro, and they just never cheese. Like, the equivalent of, like, a... Like a machine or an Idra, or I guess a, I think Artosis cheeses on occasion, but basically never cheeses just pure macros and who that player is. I'd like to know who that is. Anyway, Artosis in the red. Nexus is going to warp up, and Mars is going to scout this Nexus 
as well. So everything working out for Mars thus far. But it does not look like he knows about this one o'clock base. And I think he just assumes that Artosis is just going to, I think from Mars's perspective at this stage, he's like, okay, Artosis has taken out my engineering bay here at the natural expansion. He's just going to try to go back and do a quick three base to follow this up. Mars has his f double factories building here. SCV's back in the main. He's got three Marines in this bunker. And second refinery, but only a single SCV on that refinery currently. As far as gas. In the interim, Artosis is not done with the shenanigans. He's going to go ahead and grab two gateways at the 1 o'clock location. Another SCV moving forward. This is going to be a critical moment here. Is Does this SCV manage to sneak into the main and scout? So first of all, no Nexus there. That should be a big indicator. And second of all, not a lot of tech in here. Sees the cybernetic score whirling, but this has to be a follow-up from Mars to know that there's something, something else happening. Getting two machine shops, I think he is opting to just end the game at this stage. He's like, let me just go double machine shop, get my upgrades from here, and go ahead and end the game. Dragoon moving out towards the front. Looks like that SEV was taken out by that Dragoon. Two gateways starting to produce Dragoons here to the north. And yeah, he's just building straight Marines, building siege tanks, and he's just going to go for a straight bust. Grabbing an engineering bay just in case they're Dark Templar out in the field. And also hiding it from this Dragoon. Trying to almost bait it into that bunker. Looks like Artosis is just going to take the damage and back off. In the meantime, piling, pylon walling up the 9 o'clock just in case vultures were coming across. But yeah, and we are seeing Vulture mine and speed being upgraded. So Mars is like, okay, let me just follow this up with kind of doing a, a late delayed bust. Marines and Siege Tanks are going to be on the way. Keep in mind, he still does not know about this 1 o'clock base and these proxy Dragoons. SEVs moving across the line. Artosis completely out of position. He does not have enough to defend this. I don't think he has enough to defend his 9 o'clock. He does not have enough to defend his main. Robotics facility warping in. Yeah, two Dragoons cannot handle all of this. And he's got two other Dragoons out of position. Looks like two Vultures, this is unfortunate for Mars, two Vultures are going to be caught by these Dragoons initially. Mars opting to just move to the 9 o'clock base. Here's the thing, though, for Mars. With these four Dragoons and all of these units out of position, it looks like this Dragoon going to just mind drag and clear those mines out. Plus the production from here, Mars is in a bit of trouble at his main. Because while all of these units, a nice dodge there, while he has his main out, he's getting completely overrun by the Dragoons in his main. And no mines, no siege tanks in production, just vultures is a follow-up attack. So SCVs are having to engage these Dragoons. So Mars is leaving the Marines right there to try to take out that 9 o'clock because he wiped out that pylon wall. Finds nothing at the natural expansion. He's going to move in with these vultures. So it's turning into a base race situation now between Mars and Artosis. Artos is able to stop that third factory critically from being built. He actually has a production advantage. Three gateways versus the two factories. The siege tanks, the marines, the vultures are managing to get into the main. And Artos is just raining hellfire down on, and has position on the factories as they're spawning. And more dragoons flooding forward to work on Mars' base. Mars trying to get what he can done as quickly as possible. In Artosis' main. It's a base trade situation. Probe's getting wiped out there. He's already planted a bunker at the 9 o'clock. The Marines, I'm not sure if they pulled off or died right there. Tank sieging in position. And the Dragoons continuing to deal with the SCVs and the siege tanks there on the main. It looks like SCVs getting wiped out here and there. Mars still at 29 SCVs. So still has enough of an attack force that maybe he can jump on these Dragoons. The Dragoons still wiping out the tanks as they're being produced. But the SCV count is plummeting. He's got these Dragoons pinned into a corner. SCVs actually do pretty decent damage when they can pin these Dragoons in, but they are dying rapidly. And, and the gateways continue to produce. Marines able to get back into the bunker at the 9 o'clock. The main is starting to... is just getting annihilated there. But the Dragoons continue to just assail, just go straight for... Mars is main, and he can't seem to get any sort of defense force out to deal with these Dragoons. 
on his front. The Marines dying as soon as they're produced. More Dragoons pressing forward. And now Mars down to just six SCVs. Lifting off that command center. Starting to work on the 9 o'clock Nexus. And in the bottom left hand corner, there was a shuttle. Starting to clear everything out there. Artosa still has Dragoons inside Mars's main. Plenty of Dragoons to deal with this bunker. M Mars is abandoning ship. Now, here's the thing. There's still this sneaky probe out here at the 1 o'clock base. He has 400 minerals, so he can rebuild a Nexus. There's one probe someplace else. Looks like it's in the upper left-hand corner. This Marine trying to hunt it down. Looks like it might catch it there. Oh, did he get... Oh, just barely missed it there. So the command center flooding out. Another command center building the SCV here. Keep in mind, Mars needs to keep this SCV alive because otherwise he is out of resources. This command center getting whaled. Still some siege tanks. Are they going to come back? Siege tanks are not going to come back to defend this nexus. So this, or this command center. So the command center has been taken out. So command center's gone. Mars is down to a single SCV. That SCV just got taken out. I think he did some cancellation. He canceled the factory to get some additional resources. He has another command center that he's going to try to evacuate, but the Dragoons were already working on that command center. Artosis has a nexus in the upper left-hand corner. So now Artosis, and he's going to be able to take this command center out. So now Mars has no SCVs, no command center. He's no longer mining. Artosis has eight Dragoons and a Zealot remaining. And probes to continue mining. I'm not sure Mars realizes that Artosis did not manage to sneak out with additional bases as well. Mars, if he's going to survive this, needs to sneak out with at least a building. Looks like both these factories are going to burn. Sorry, two Zealots. There's an additional Zealot right there. So Mars in a spot of trouble trying to hover this engineering bay out. Because if he can keep the engineering bay alive and somehow get kills or at least get into a protective place, he can maybe force a draw. But in the meantime, Artosis is effectively won. He's got that nexus on the upper left-hand corner and he has probes to mine with. And he's starting to work on that engineering bay. So I leave it to you. So here's the question <laughs> that I leave you guys with. Keep in mind Artosis... Ended up losing a forward gateway, a pylon, an assimilator. Came around with a nexus. Had his nexus denied. Is Protoss OP? Or is Artosis just a PVT genius because of the amount of time he's thought about putting into this matchup? Or is Mars just bad? I'm not going to throw it to the Mars is bad sector of things. Mostly, I'm, part, I'm going to be honest with you guys, partly I'm doing this game because I think Mars is going to be one of the better... He is already one of the better players in North America, but I think within the next year, year and a half, he'll get even better. So part of this is also to light a fire <laughs> right there. Mars is grouping up. He, he has the bunker. That's all that's left. That's the last building. Setting up to defend that bunker. Handful of mines here otherwise. And Mars thinks he's okay. He thinks he can force a draw. He thinks that Artosis, and Artosis is throwing out that nobody has enough money to mine. Saying, no, I'm just going to stay here. Both players remaining AFK. Mars wants to get like the, the mutual draw or try to force a win. Really wants those ladder points. Unfortunately, he does not know about this. But anyway, love to hear it in the comments. Is Protoss LP? Is Artosis just a genius when it comes to this matchup in particular? Or is this just an off game from Mars? I really like the... Uh, you can just tell that Artosis is... Here's the thing. Is like Mars lost to this? Yes. But I guarantee you at some point in his career, Artosis lost to this exact thing. Which is exactly why he pulled this, this shenanigan off. He knew exactly what to do. I think that's how he thinks about this matchup in particular. He just spends an uh, a huge amount of time thinking about it. So anyway. I leave the evidence to the ladies and gentlemen. To you ladies and gentlemen. I'll go ahead and speed the matchup up. Want to give the shout outs in the interim. Go ahead and check out Mars when he is, although he hasn't been streaming a ton lately, he has been participating 
uh, in Rogue's Gallery. I hope to see him in BSL in the near future. I hope to see Artosis in BSL as well. Check out Artosis. Um, at Artosis TV. Is it Artosis TV? I think it's... How do I not even know this? Like, I'm a mod on that channel. But check him out on Twitch. If you look in the Star Trek, uh, StarCraft channel, usually he is the number one there. Tends to stream around 5 p.m. PST, which has been wonderful for me. Because uh, that's right around when I'm making dinner. So usually, can I, usually I can plop on the headphones, make dinner, or hang around while dinner's being made, and catch a few StarCraft games. I'm oftentimes in that chat hanging out. A lot of people say, like, oh, Artosis is super salty, uh, super aggressive. I... I think he's passionate, and really I just love watching him. I don't know why. I don't usually like TVT, but I love watching him play TVT in particular uh, on his channel. And I love it when he's kind of a little bit more relaxed and talking about a lot of the strategy he does. The uh, chat can be can vary from, I guess give the warning, the chat can vary from like weird to toxic to other things. He's so going to eat a couple mines here. Just walk straight through them. What a boss. Uh, but that's just, you know... I don't know. I like the channel. I have fun there. I feel like there's... Where in chat's not being toxic, it's almost like a weird little prison community. Uh, I do do moderating there. Try to be a little bit more relaxed. But anyway, check out his channel. I think it's a fun location to go in. It's like basically the number one StarCraft Brood War channel out there as far as just pure viewership uh, these days. And also, I need to update... There's a community resource list that I need to update because there's a massive amount... <laughs> there's, a mas uh, there's a massive amount of... Uh, of professionals that are moving from Africa TV to Twitch TV. Mars feigning being AFK. Let's go ahead and speed this match up. So we got a couple minutes basically of just waiting for the mining to happen. But Artosis is effectively win this. I really want to see the comments from this one. Also, if uh, you watch this live on Twitch, check out... Actually, I'll upload this this um, weekend. But also check out Artosis going for an ASL run. So I guess the shout out to both these guys is Artosis. Good luck on your ASL qualifiers. Mars. <laughs> Finally doing the, are you binding where? He wants to go ahead and go for the attack. He's going to kill you with the scouts. Good luck to Mars. I hope this uh, puts a little bit of uh, fire in Mars's belly. Because I think he is a good player and I think he's going to get even better. Mars wants to get a guarantee on the, the visual. But, yeah, he's, that, that's his manner of Artosis, just letting him walk by with the Marine so he can go ahead and confirm that he's, in fact, lost. In fact, confirms it. And calls GG there. Anyway, so, in, so first of all, support both these guys. Um, check them out in all, in all the variety of games they're in. Support Artosis uh, during his ASL run. Or not, I guess, if I know some people have issue with Artosis. And uh, check out both their channels on Twitch. Support Brood War overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Love to hear the comments on what you guys think. Is Artosis just a, in particular, Protoss genius when it comes to versus Terran? Because of the amount of depth and hatred he has for, for Protoss when it goes up against Terran? Is he just a genius or is Protoss, in fact, OP? I leave it to you guys to decide. Thanks for listening.